In this video, I will show you how to shoot the Milky Way on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Let's get started. Hey guys, Luke here. Today I will show you how to shoot the Milky Way on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Now I may not know much about astrophotography, but I'll share as much as I know. First off, we need to find a place where there is least light pollution. I use a website called lightpollutionmap.info. Link will be in the description. As you can see here, the brighter the colours are, the more light pollution there is. The next thing you'll want to do is plan when you will go out and shoot. I use an app called Photopills. Photopills tells you when the moon rises and sets, when the core of the Milky Way is visible, and more. The best time to shoot the Milky Way is between the months of March and October, and choose a night where there are no clouds. So you will need a tripod for this, because if you do it handheld you will get lots of motion blur and the Milky Way will not look good. So always bring a tripod with you when you're doing astrophotography. Anyway, let's get ready to shoot the Milky Way. So when you are shooting the Milky Way, you want your ISO to be at 6400, shutter speed 30 seconds, manual focus, set the focus to infinite and you are ready to shoot. So without further ado, let's get it started. It is optional that you can set a 2 second timer as well, that way you will avoid any camera shaking when you touch the screen. Alright, so our first photo just came in. Let's have a look at it. Not bad. This will take a little bit of practice to get adjusting to the Milky Way the way you want it to. So, I'm gonna, in my case, I'm going to move it up a little bit. And I'm going to shoot again. There's also a lightning storm just stone east. Hopefully that doesn't interfere with our Milky Way shots. So, see you when we get to post-production. So, I'm going to use Lightroom to import the photos and edit them. So, let's just take one for now. I'll show you how I edit my photos. So, first I press auto and then I start adjusting from here. So, what I'll do, bring the contrast up, highlights, I think, there. About there. Now you can go to color. So since I don't like that, I'll adjust the tint and the temperature. Put it down a little bit. And then Vibrance up, saturation up a little bit. Now we are. Now we go to not too much dehazing, or else it looks really fake. I'm gonna sharpen it just a little bit, a lot actually. I don't know. Reduce a bit of noise. Color noise is already reduced because of the auto settings. Now I'm going to go, just for the sake of it, let's remove chromatic aberration because I don't know why. <laughs> now, it's the three dots. I'm going to turn Instagram on. Save to device and save. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, comment what you thought about the video, 
please also share my photos with me on Instagram at QualityPicksFromTino. Link will be in the description. Text will be on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more videos. And I will see you in another video. Bye for now. Thank you.